This is a book review of The Memoirs of Hadrian by Marguerite Yusenar. Came out in 1951. This version's 1959 Penguin Books. You see paperback. What's it about? The life of Hadrian, who was the emperor of ancient Rome uh, from 117 to 138. I have to quickly check that information. Um, he was born in AD 76 and died in July 138 AD. And this book is his entire life. Obviously, as much as any will ever know. It's obviously a story, but it really does give the feel of being written by, by Hadrian. You really feel or get to feel as much as we could ever possibly know something of the life of the times. It's about the times as well as his philosophies, his, obviously his opinions, his character, everything about him, all the way through his early life in Spain and then all the way through to his death. And it's just one of the just back cover there. Just a beautiful book. I don't, it's just a classic. It's just everything about the complete empire, how it was governed. It's and then that makes it sound dry, but it's just the language throughout is just beautiful. The story, the characters, just the his the whole feel. You really feel that you're reading Hadrian's life. This has been like lost for two thousand odd years, and it's suddenly been discovered. And that's what you feel like. You feel this. And it's just poignancy throughout. Obviously, his death is just, just good. Because clearly, you can't write about your own death. That is the one thing you can't do. But it's just beautiful. And I can't recommend this enough. This is just. Now, there are a number of other books that are similar, that they're the lives of various emperors. And I love those as well. But this one, I think, of all of those books, those type of books, and any actual, any book about Rome, I think this, to me, is just one of my regular go-to books. And I have to say, perfect, absolutely perfect, and definitely well worth a read.